five worst influencers of all time. Coming in at number one, I have Jack Doher. Jack, I can't name a single person who actually likes watching you. Get out! Coming in at number two, I have the Manny Show. Manny, you fell off so hard that I have my own surprise for you. It's a job application. Wrap it up and get out. Coming in at number three, I have Neon. I hate Neon! Neon, get out! I hate you! Coming in at number four, I have Ray William Johnson. You need to stop making me march with the Saints! Top five best names of all time. Coming in at number one, I have Toilet Anas Nas Das. Toilet Anas Nas Das. I get it! Shut up, Toilet Get out! Coming in at number two, I have Rick Ross. Rick, I did not put you on this list. Your name sucks! Get out! Coming in at number three, I have Osama Son. Is that Osama Son doing the Osama walk? I have to join! Sorry about that, guys. Coming in at number four, I have Toilet Anas Nas Das, das. Rick Ross, Osama. Good night to everybody except the Saints trio. There's four of you guys now? How did you get Noah Glenn Carter to join the trio? Get out! Coming in at number two, I have the Saints newest member, Noah Glenn Carter. Noah, I have been through hell and back already with these other people. Get out! Coming in at number three, I have Ray William Johnson. So this guy, let's call him Semden. Basically, he wants me and my squad to get out of his room. Erm, um, that's not gonna happen, bud. Ray, all I'm asking is for you and your squad to leave me alone. Please! Hell no. Top five best trios of all time. Coming in at number one, I have Ray William Johnson, Joe Bartolozzi, and IDK Sterling. Oh, There's three of you now? Get out! Coming in at number two, I have The Saints. You guys can't just make up a new name for yourself and put yourself on the list twice! That's not how this works! Get out! Coming in at number three, I have IDK Sterling's Ops. What are you guys gonna say about that? Huh? This guy is lucky to still Leave have his life. Leave me alone! Coming in at number four, I have IDK Sterling, oh, Ray William oh, Johnson, oh, and Joe Bartolomeo. Good night to everybody except Sydney Sweeney. Hey babe, you left your $50,000 Rolex in my crib last night. Oh my god, that's actually so embarrassing because that actually happened. I'll come get in a little bit though, babe, don't worry. Coming in at number two, I have Sophie Rain. I heard you were at Sydney Sweeney's crib last night. We're done. Yeah, I was. But where are you going to find another man with 200 mil in the bank at a Beverly Hills mansion? Nowhere! Coming in at number three, I have Jenna Ortega. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm getting a call. I gotta take this. Hey, what's up, babe? Do I want to come over tonight? No, I can't. Why? I have to go to Cindy Sweeney's crib tonight. I left my $50,000 Rolex there last night. I love you too, babe. I'll see you later, all right? Oh, I was recording this entire time? That's literally so embarrassing! Top five most hateable moments. Coming in at number one, I have when Ray William Johnson sings. Oh, when the sounds. All right, dude, it's getting old now. Get out of my room now! Coming in at number two, I have when Freaky Bob and Mike call me. Are you guys serious? I blocked both of your numbers and you're still calling me. Leave me alone! Coming in at number three, I have when a group of time travelers stop me from finishing this video. What? No! Top five most annoying people ever. Coming in at number one, I have Ray William Johnson. Oh, when the How many times do I have to tell you to leave me alone? Get out! At number two, I have Joe Bartolozzi. I've been in the hills, fucking dude. I understand you've been in the hills. It's been a meme for three years now, dude. Get out! At number three, I have IDK Sterling. This guy must have a death wish. No, you must have a death wish. Get out! At number four, I have Zach Lath. <laughs> 
At number five, I have Joe Bartolosi, Ray William Jones, and Zach Blake, and I think they stole it. This oh, guy must have a death wish. Let's say that you're hanging out with a group of girls and you do something so embarrassing that they all run away from you. What is this called? Aura loss. Brain rot exam aura edition. If somebody sent you this, then your aura has been increased by 20,000. Question two, define blank. If you said aura, then you are correct. Question three, this is the aura of somebody who smells like absolute ass. What type of aura is this? If you said a green aura with flies, then you are correct. Question four, what is the name of this song? I get more chains in the highs, I know I can never get back, so I was on low. If you said If We Being Real by Yeet, then you are correct, and your aura has been increased by 20,000. Good night to everybody except Ray William Johnson. Oh, and the same. Get out of here, Go. dude. Anyone who just did the Billy Bounce. Go marching in. Dude, stop. Anyone who won't stop singing when the Saints go marching in. Get out! Specific? Anyone who just said when the Saints come marching in. When the Saints go marching Anyone who spells their name R A Y. When the Saints go marching in. Wait, stop! Extremely specific. Anyone who keeps interrupting me by doing the Billy Bounce and singing Oh, when the Saints come marching in, it happens to go by the name of Ray William Jones. When the Saints go marching in. Blank, shake your blank, shake your blank. If you said dreads, then you are correct. Brain rot exam dreadhead edition. Send this to someone who is nonchalant and has aura. Question two. What ten letter word is used to describe the personality of a typical dreadhead? If you said nonchalant, then you are correct. Question three. This is a question often asked by dreadheads with low quality or ugly looking dreads. What type of blank dreads do I have? If you said, what type of aw dreads do I have, then you are correct. Question four. When a nonchalant dreadhead shakes his dreads in public, who does he often attract? If you said, all the ladies, then you are correct and you are a nonchalant dreadhead with insane aura. Here is the official top 10 TikTokers of all time with two honorable mentions going out to Santa Cruz and Cookie King. At number 10, we have Red Basket. At nine, Ben Houselon. Eight, Joe Rock. At seven, we have Zacharific, and at six, Joe Bartolozzi. At five, we have H1T1. At four, we have Luke LSF PXIN. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong, Luke. At three, I have OK Kron. At two, Zach Lee. And at one, I have me. Minus a thousand aura points for self I got ties in this bitch. Drop like flies in this bitch. I cut ties in this bitch. We the best music. DJ Kevin. 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 I just went by the watch with a whole lot of. Is somebody gonna match my blank? If you said freak, then you are correct. Brain rot exam, freaky edition. Send this to somebody who is a max level freak. Question two, what is the name of this freaky sponge who often interrupts hopecore videos by asking that you pick up the phone, baby? If you said freak, Bob, then you are correct. Question three, fill in the blank. That's Nothing much, my fella. Just got back from one of blank's parties. You should have been there. If you said diddy, then you are correct. Question four. People often refer to the act of applying oil to oneself as what? If you said oiling up, then you are correct, and you are a max level freak! <laughs> Top 5 reasons why I hate Freak Bob. 1. I find it annoying when he calls me and texts me. Hey man, is it okay if we just talk? I literally just said it was annoying when you call me and text me. Leave me alone. 2. He isn't as freaky as me. Leave me alone, freak bug. Can we please just talk? All right, fine. Just make it quick. What do you want? Hey, man. Thanks for answering. People usually don't answer. 
and it's taking a toll on me. That's why uh, I then call a couple times. <laughs> they always say, where's Freaky Bob, but they never ask, how's Freaky Bob? <laughs> Dude, you were going through some stuff without me, weren't you? You stupid. They're not. What's nine plus ten? Hi. Wait a minute. Who are <laughs> You stupid. They're not. What's nine plus ten? Hey, yo, the pizza here. Hey, dog, you get some ice cream? Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. Hi, my name is Trey. I have a basketball game tomorrow. Don't seem to pick up the phone. Baby. Your final challenge. Let's hope they go to your phone. Top five worst names ever. Coming in at number one, I have Mike. You might want to make sure your doors are locked tonight. No, Mike, I know you're not gonna do anything to me. And number two, I have Michael. Mike, leave me alone. Stop calling me. Number three, I have anybody whose name who starts with M and ends with Ike. All right, you know what, Mike? Maybe I will pick up the phone this time. What, Mike? What could you possibly want? Um, what do I press to shoot now? You stupid n- ah! Top 5 reasons why you should love life. 1. There are many people who love you in this world. Pick up the phone, baby. Stop calling me, Mike. 2. Every day is a new adventure. 3. You can find joy in very simple things. <laughs> Except for when Freaky Bob calls me. I find no joy in that. 4. No goals are impossible to achieve. Pick up the phone, baby. Mike, please stop calling me. 5. Life is valuable. Cherish every moment. Except for those moments when Mike, Zesty Zilla, and Freaky Bob are calling me. I find no joy in that! <laughs> Top 5 best people ever. Coming in at number 1, I have Zesty Zilla. <laughs> Alright, number 2, I have Squirtworth. Please word you pick up the telephone. Number 3, I have Mike. I just love it when he calls me. Pick up the phone, baby. Oh, my... And number four, I have John Milk. It's honestly the best feeling ever when I get a call from him. <laughs> All right, guys, stop calling me. I was trying to make you feel better, but you keep calling me. Stop it! Number five, I have Zesty Zilla, Squirtward Mike, and John Milk. They're my favorite. Actually, no, they're not. I hate them! <laughs> Your phone ringing! I'm about to call my Worst people ever. Coming in at number one, I have Freaky Bob. 
Number two, I have John Pork. I absolutely hate it when he calls me. Your phone ringing. And number three, I have Mike. Pick up the phone. Man. Guys, stop calling me. Number four, I have Henry Hippopotamus. I hate it when he calls me too. <laughs> For the love of God, stop calling me. Number five, I have Freaky Bob, John Pork, Mike, and Henry Hippopotamus. I hate them all. <laughs>